Hello everyone. Today is May 2nd, 2014. My name is Dave Landry from DaveLandry.com. This is my website, but this is not why I'm doing this presentation. I'm getting a few questions to go over the open portfolio and explain what's in that. Uh, just so you know, I am author of The Layman's Guide to Trading Stocks. So if you want to pick that book up, I would appreciate it uh, very much. And thank you for that. Uh, the link is on my website right here. Let's take a look at the slides and I'll show you uh, the open portfolio here. Uh, just one second. Before we do that, this is the disclaimer screen. As you know, all predictions are about the future, and a lot of stuff can happen between now and then. This is a short version. The long version was on the prior slide. Just back that up a little bit and hit pause and check that out. Or see other disclaimers, that and other disclaimers, I should say, on my website. Now, this is what we're going to talk about today. This is my uh, actual spreadsheet from my trading service. Let me show you how this is set up. We use a hypothetical 100K account we assume there's always 100k even in the account uh, i don't actually compound in in the open portfolio i did a video out there though where i show quarterly compounding so check that out if you get a chance on youtube risky two percent per trade that means each trade is going to be two thousand dollars at risk if stopped out you don't buy two thousand dollars worth of a position you take the protective stop in this case it was two points away and you divide two thousand by that number so two thousand divided by two obviously equals 1,000. By the way, the math is already done for me uh, down here. And what I do is I split that into two positions. One is going to be my trading loaf, what I call a trading loaf. And the second loaf is going to be my trending loaf. So the math is done in the spreadsheet. The point I'm trying to make here is if you want this exact spreadsheet or one very similar to it, just shoot me an email and I will give it to you so the math's already done. Now, let me walk you through the rest of the spreadsheet. Anything highlighted is an open position. Anything that's not highlighted is a closed position. So last night, this position closed out during the day. Yeah, it closed out during the day yesterday. So I left it in for one last day last night. This will actually come out of the portfolio today. We made $1,000 on the trading loaf and only $200 and, or $250 on the trending loaf based on a 100K hypothetical account. Okay. Now, these are following the system mechanically, meaning that if I say to get in at 13, you were able to get 13 on the fill within reason. If, uh, let's say, the stock gap to 14, then this would actually have 14 here. Or if there was a fast move around the open, this number might be a little bit different based on either a real trade or a time and sales type of fill. But these are things followed mechanically. If I say get out at 15, then it, it hits 15, then you got out at 15. In the real world, I would recommend that you use a little bit of discretion. See the second half of layman. See my webcast for more on that. And I do a free webcast every Thursday, by the way, at 11 o'clock Eastern. And I'll show you some more information on that in just one second. So here's the profit and loss based on the number of shares bought. And then this is self-explanatory. This is where we got in. This was the price we exited. This right here was the current price as of May 1st, 2014. This is how much we made on the trading loaf. And this is how much we made, hopefully, so far. And this number continues to grow on the trending loaf. The real money is in this part of the trade. Ideally, we want to see that trade be many, many, many times the initial amount in fact in case you're wondering what's going on up here this is a position that's still on based on a discretionary call this triggered around or i should say triggered right at five five it hit the initial profit target and they came down after a few weeks it just barely nicked the initial the i'm sorry the protective stop which had been trailed higher to nine points a share and then it took off again. In a case like this, that's a discretionary call to stay with the position. But it's not in the mechanical portfolio down here because everything uh, is tracked on a mechanical basis. So even if it comes to 9 or drops to right around 9 and then takes off again and you should stay with the position, I actually track it mechanically as being stopped out. For instance, there was one just two days ago that got within three cents, or actually four days ago, three cents of the profit target. Personally, I think that's really close enough. Go ahead and take profits. But mechanically, it actually stopped out of the portfolio. Anything in orange is new action. These positions uh, didn't hit new highs, so there was no new action to be taken uh, over here. So it's basically a maintained stop and should have maintained stop down here on this 
one, two. And again, this is new positions down here. I've got it X'd out because it's a current position or it hasn't triggered yet, just yet, I should say. Uh, so that's it uh, for the portfolio. Again, 2% risk, which means it's $2,000 per trade, divided by the risk on the trade. And then you take those shares and you view them as two lows, one to flip out, hopefully for a swing trade profit, and one to hold on to for a long, long time, hopefully for a big profit, something like this. Okay? Any questions? David, Dave Landry.com. I do answer my own emails. Let me just show you a couple things on my website real quick. If you have time, check it out. There's a lot of good stuff on my website, if I say so myself. Right here is my daily column, which I call Random Thoughts. You can access that through my website or an easier way to get it. Just click on the free newsletter here, and you'll get it every day in your email. Once a week, I do uh, about an hour and a half long seminar on Thursdays or a webinar, and you click here to sign up for that any other announcements if you just scroll down on my website all the announcements are right here a couple things to point out to you one I've got some free videos here and also under education there's a plethora of information in the free education hours and hours uh, videos and PDFs and uh, things of that nature it should should keep you busy I should say for hours and hours and one thing I'm quite proud of this is stock selection webinar click on that for more information right now I'm running a special if you buy the stock selection webinar, you get an entire year of my service free. Any questions, again, DavidDaveLandry.com. Thanks, everyone, and have a great day trading.